that's not good. What's up guys and welcome back to another fishing episode. Today I'm at my home lake. I brought the micro fluke on a light spinning setup to see if I can catch some small bass and I've also brought the fly rod to see if I can catch some other micro species. It just started raining so we'll see how it goes today. Anyway I'm just gonna walk to the first spot and see what I can catch today. Multi-species style. Let's do this. All right guys, I'm gonna start out with a micro fluke. Last time I threw this out here, I caught like a three pound bass. So let's see what I can catch with it today. Give it one more try. It was raining just like a moment ago and it just stopped and now it's sunny. Maryland weather can change so quickly. been seeing a lot more snakes here recently so I'm keeping my eyes out I really want to step on one of them oh my god you scared me <laughs> he just came out of nowhere oh he has eggs that's so cool look at that he has an egg in that it's a ground's nest I'm just gonna leave it be pretty cool I'm actually going to step away from it <sighs> so you can get back on its egg I feel like it's a little bit late in the season for it to still still be rearing eggs like we're in July already isn't that like a spring deal Is that a fish? I think that's a fish. It is a fish. First bass of the day. That feels good. I honestly was just expecting to be able to catch uh, a bunch of panfish today, but I'll take the bass. Tiny little guy, probably like six inches, five, six inches. First fish of the day. Thank you so much, little guy. Oh, it just came up back up on the bank. Oh my goodness. Why'd you come up on land like that? All right. Let's find some deeper water so you can't do that. It's pretty shallow here too, but see ya. Stay in the water this time. <laughs> Crazy bass. Oh my god, I got one. This was bigger. It's definitely a bigger one. Woo! It's uh, doing jumps. Let me land you. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Bass number two on that micro fluke. Definitely an upgrade. This one may be push, pushing 11 inches. Actually, you know what? I can find out. Let me do that real quick. Yeah, it's just about 11 inches. Thank you, little guy. Oh, there he goes. All right, guys, so it just finished raining not too long ago and I've been finding a ton of mushrooms all around. And I believe I just found some chicken of the woods. Now this is actually an edible mushroom. This one's looking a bit rough, so I will leave this one here. But if I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled, see if I can find another one. Maybe I can have some mushrooms for dinner. That's a good find though.
Now I know guys I said I was gonna fish with the fly and I will a little bit later on but it's just kind of hard to put down the micro fluke seeing how I already caught two bass. Come on I want to catch a perch. I want to catch a big perch. A 10 inch perch. There he is. Oh my gosh, these bass are just pissed off today. Jeez. Saw him eat it too. This one's probably around the same size. Actually, this might be 12 inches. There's uh, the best one of the day so far. Looks like it might be 12. It could still be 11, but pretty nice. Let's put him back. Thank you so much, Mr. Bass. Man, bass seems so active today. Like, I feel, I feel like I've gotten a bite at every single spot that I have stopped at. They just seem to be everywhere right now. Well, everywhere at least shallow. I've yet to see any big ones up shallow though. Since like all the little bass are just hanging around. An older one, look at this, like... <laughs> oh, it's a perch! Yay, I caught my perch! Pretty cool. These guys are actually pretty delicious. I might actually come and do a catch and cook from these guys later on. Let me know down in the comments if you want to see a perch catch and cook. Thank you so much, little guy. You're lucky today. Bye. There it is. <laughs> They're getting smaller. Oh, I knew it was gonna happen. It was just skin hooked. All right, guys, chill. Well, it's a little muddy, but pretty little guy. Thank you. All right, it is time to bust out the old reliable fly rod. I'm pretty sure I'll get a bite in the first cast with this thing. Ooh, got him. Ooh. a big bluegill it's a pretty decent sized bluegill thank you so much Ooh, another one I think this is a perch is this a perch oh is this a bass it's a bass on the fly look at that <laughs> Awesome. Tiny bass on the fly. <sighs> this is pretty fun. I can catch a ton of these little guys by throwing the fly. All right, well, I could stay here all day and catch a bunch of little fish on the fly, but I think I'm gonna move on. See if I can catch a little bit bigger bass. Caught a bass on the fly, so I'm pretty happy about that. All right guys, so I've tied up this tiny spinnerbait looking thing. See if this catches a fish. There's one. I think that might be a perch too. 
Yeah, that's a perch. It's definitely a bigger perch. This one, this one might be a keeper. Well, there it is, guys. That's my best yellow perch of the day. Pretty cool. It's an eight inch yellow perch. Pretty cool. Finally made it back to the starting point. I'm just sitting on this bench here. Definitely took a lot longer than I thought it was. It's a whopping 3.7 miles. So I've been walking for the last hour and a half straight without even fishing. I was hoping to have a little more time to fish here, but I have to head out of here as the park is, will be closing in about 10 minutes. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode. Make sure you go hit that like button down below and subscribe for some more awesome fishing content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.